Let's Ah, here it is. It is um, NC Decentering version 1, as we can see. So, all the players start on a tiny little island um, with four sheep, few deer, little stone and gold. There's lots of fish on this map, as you can see, um, but the vast majority of the resources are obviously all around here on this surrounding land and yeah some players will probably go for a grush so feudal age galleys let me check the civilizations yeah we have two viking players paladin and fish for vns um two chinese players accm and number 23 um, two Mayan players, Yingwa here and Cool, and two Persian players, Yo and Yellow, playing in red. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Microphone muted. Hmm, what else could I point out? Yeah, it's really up to the players um, where they decide to actually transport their villagers over. They could really stick to their team placements. So let's say, for example, um, we're looking at the point of view from Sai right now, so their starting islands are more to the east, so they could just sail over, take the shortest way and land here in the very east. Um, but it is definitely possible to just land somewhere else and isolate a player maybe on purpose. Um, there's many things you can do on this map. Microphone muted. Microphone. Uh, it looks like they were debating if they can call it restart, but nope. Uh, apparently they have used their restarts already. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Question from the chat. Landing is in dark is the meta right now. Mm, I'm not really an expert on this map, actually um, not a single map, <laughs> but um, most players build a town center on their starting island, so abandoning this island too soon is probably not the best idea. You should still get your original town center on this small island. some players landed already well they're scouting with sheep ah uh, yo actually decided to build his town center not on his starting island by the looks yep Population oh, 12 for ACCM. He's a Chinese player, so that makes sense. 12 for um, no or number 23 as well. 13.
King Bar also with the town center on the outer land here. While um, VNS, I think they've all got their town centers on the starting highlands. Yeah, looks like it. Ah, here, that's a smart one from Cool using the shorefish. One sec. Ah, no. There's uh, some background noise right now, but I hope my microphone doesn't pick it up. Yeah, it looks like it. It goes mute when I stop speaking, so I should be all right. Ah, uh, yes. After the second one v one, I updated the scoreboard already because all it takes to get one point is uh, two wins, and we just um, watched the third game. Yeah, for completeness sake, so we have all the games covered. Doc coming up here for you. I was playing as Persians. Maya player here. Okay, the Viking player here. Feng Sing, better known as Paladin, is building a dock on his starting island. And yeah, here in orange. Has he built a dock yet? I mean, he's playing as Chinese here. Should have more villagers, that usually means more resources. Let's keep an eye on the Chinese players right now. Or the players with the Chinese civilization. Um, number 23. Uh, uh, got housed for just two seconds. He is on food 400. 450. Yep. Will he click up? Yes, he just clicked up. Um, 11 minutes. Okay. And he's starting to transport villagers over now. Yep, and he's going to the back. Hoping not to run into an enemy here. What is uh, your flaring here? Probably just deer. Here's your yeah, two fishing ships. Yeah, VNS. They really seem to like their starting islands, apparently. <laughs> Here's one ACCM as a Chinese player shipping over. With the first players reaching feudal age, I'm expecting some action, definitely with um, galleys, and the players will become more and more active on the outside area here of this map. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Okay. Okay, ACCM reached feudal age. He does have two dogs. Let's maybe check the dogs for number 23. He has two as well. Getting out galleys. And he has a, a gather point. So he's sending them straight between here ACCM and um, Cool, player in teal.
Okay. Two against one. We can take that fight. Fish just uh, reached feudal age. Oh, he'll repair this galley probably. That's a smart move. And the second galley is out, so now it is time to go back for number 23. And here is ACCM with two galleys. Ah, close fight. Pulling a runner. And here's Persians. Player in red moving in. Yep. Looking good for VNS on this side now. They have more galleys in this area. here and these two galleys yeah they won't do too much they're being chased by two galleys on a higher health point level I got a bit close to the TC here mm, I think number 23 did not watch this galley here Let's see what's happening on the land Stonewall is up already here from number 23 He's playing as Chinese, getting a blacksmith. Uh, on this side, Yo has actually built a barracks. Let's see what he's gonna do now. He just reached fuel age. And there's a stable coming up, so we will see Persian knights here from Yo. That could be really dangerous. Because you see, a fish in purple is building really close. Um, then gray is here as well. That would be ACCM playing as Chinese. Yo himself has not walled. Yeah, but he's using quite some resources here. Taking in all the food he can right now. And he found a lot of sheep. That is nice as well. Paladin just sailed over. Going for the berries. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's free food. Why not go for it? How is it looking on the water? ACCM. Will he snipe the transport ship? Can he get it? Nope gets away with 12 HP. There is a uh, Paladin with his galleys chasing uh, Venus cool away. Microphone muted. Now potentially 2v1 situation, but what is ACCM doing? Needs to join the fight. Castle Age for your. Ah, let's see, here's this one villager being unprotected at the moment. Will this these walls come up? Okay, quick gate. These two trees help as well. This house should block this passage. Oh, and if the monastery goes up, then yeah, monk could just convert more more villagers here. No, nope. but this one knight cannot enter right now. What you could do is just bring a transport ship, but there's a lot of galleys here. Venus fish as well. Uh, market coming up. Will uh, will Paladin actually sling? 
he could do that as Vikings. Let's maybe check his um, point of view. He is still in feudal age. Nah, he's getting close to uh, 800 food. I think he will click up. And here's a monk. Will he go and convert a villager? Outpost coming up. Another stable is up. Yep, he'll probably get this villager. Yep. There's the conversion. So that's two villagers to build here and cause trouble. This one knight is out chasing all these lumberjacks away. Here in red player VNS Yellow has walled with stone walls as well, so they seem to agree not to harass each other too much in the north, but yeah, there in the south there is definitely some action. And this gate here, pff, I don't get at all, because the access is open, completely open. They should maybe wall here, wall here. There's a town center coming up. So that is a lot of ground uh, to be won here by Yo. Uh, the barracks coming up, so yeah, Cool was completely surprised. He did have zero defense. Galleys are coming in, yeah, but I'm sure Yo is clever enough not to come too close to the shore here. On the water, how does it look? Looks like VNS has most of the water control. Paladin as Vikings is adding uh, quite a few galleys now. He will be up to castle very soon. 90%. Mm, some red archers. They were probably transported over. Got picked up by these plumed archers here from Yingwa. He's playing as Mayans. Um, he's building mostly here in the eastern corner, so, yeah. No biggie. Uh, Paladin is being chased here, two versus one. And he's adding more in front of his dogs. What is Sai flaring here? Not sure. Yeah, see all these villagers have to move somewhere else. At least some of them made it past with the help of the galleys here. And Yo is coming for them. Yeah, this one will, will get away. Or will, will she? <laughs> Doesn't look good. Uh, no. But the monk will go down, that's another hundred gold. And there's the war galley upgrade and botkin arrow for Paladin. More archers here. Where are all these archers coming from? <laughs> Have I missed something? Oh yeah, I actually missed these... Um, Archery ranges, because blue and, sorry, red and orange look a little similar, so I completely missed that. Sorry, guys. And now, yeah, Paladin is the Vikings player, getting out a lot of galleys. Not having a hard time here fighting feudal age galleys with six plus one. The plumed archers do actually quite well against regular feudal age archers because they have plus one um, archer armor by default and here plus one upgraded additionally. So as you can see, 
three plumes took out. How many was that? Six, seven archers. Easy game. Okay, how far did Yo come with his push so far? Bringing back the monks. It's not a real push, really, but um, yeah, he is harassing and he's he's forcing his opponents to maybe overreact a little, and that is that is awesome. While most of his teammates can actually get a free boom, and I think Yo himself is trying to boom nicely here. There's some units from number 23. Similar amount of units here for ACCM. The score is... wow, I did not expect that. 3300 for Sai, only 2400 for VNS, so it looks like a good advantage for Sai already. Fish, we saw that here, he had to give up most his... Um, Income and yeah, whatever he took in wood, in stone, in gold, whatever, and he had to run. And now he's building again here. He's playing as Vikings, and and that is actually bad. As the Vikings player, being on such a low population, um, while the Vikings player for Sai here is actually on top score with 90 population, and yeah, it's not getting easier for. <laughs> Fish, he's uh, about to lose his town center on the starting island now. Uh, killing some villagers here, that is a nice find. It's, mm, and now Love Chang or Ying Wa is sending some builds in, but it does not matter really. Um, it is still a water map, isn't it? And yeah, the Viking player for VNS was almost dead. Very, very weak. And Paladin was, yeah, going strong. Mayan player here, 121 population. And neither player for VNS actually made it past population 100. So, very, very strong play from uh, Sai here. Gonna update the scoreboard, one sec. So that makes the score 4 to 1 in favor of Sai. Let's uh, check the achievements real quick. Okay, here they are. Lost units. VNS yellow playing in red. 49 lost, only 13 killed. So <laughs> if you fight with feudal age archers against plumes, that's what you get. Paladin here, smart play, 63 kills, only 11 losses. So, good army control. Yo has raised two buildings. Kills and losses are somewhat equal, but five conversions, that's nice. And 37 army for Paladin here, for Feng Sing, compared to Fish, who never made it past 17 army, and I guess that was Fuel Age galleys, well, these were war galleys already. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you the rest. I mean, we saw what happened. Strong May and Boom here from uh, Ying Wa. Okay, let's go back.